Hey there, welcome to another episode of createyourhealth.com. My name is Peter Bedard and we are on the rooftop in beautiful Santa Monica, California. And we're waiting for Lori Searle, who's going to teach us some Hatha Vinyasa Flow Yoga. Hatha Vinyasa flow specifically is the linking of the breath to, to the movement. So your um, one pose is gonna lead straight into the other by inhaling and exhaling. So you're gonna inhale on a movement and exhale on a movement. The Hatha Vinyasa flow is based in Ashtanga, but it's sort of open to interpretation, you know, adding different poses that are not from the sequence. Well, let me tell you, first of all, classes in Los Angeles are amazing. If you can get to a class, it's a great thing. However, yoga, which started thousands and thousands of years ago in India, was a prescription specific for the individual, right? So when someone is seeking me out, um, you know, they might have had physical injuries, whether it's, you know, they're triathletes and their knees are you know, shot or their hips are torn and I have a lot of mommies that are pre and post, you know, giving birth so, you know, they want to kind of tone up and they want to de-stress when they're dealing with a newborn. Lots and lots of busy executives and people who are hunched over the computer or driving on the road, you know, with rounded shoulders, just stressed out people. So, I mean, you can, everyone can benefit from yoga. It's really important to work with the people, I mean, especially if they're injured, work with the doctors, physical therapists that they might be working on and create a sequence specifically for them so that they can heal their bodies, get over their injuries and live a very strong and, and peaceful life. So Lori, we're gonna do some yoga. All right, let's do some yoga. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start in what's called Tadasana. And I'm gonna use a few Sanskrit words. You're gonna open up your feet hip distance apart, lift the toes as high as you can. This is gonna engage the quadriceps and then just lower those toes. Nice toes you got there. Tilt the tailbone down and draw the belly in. Then let's shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, back towards the back of the room and down. So then just close your eyes here and come into that Ujjayi breath, that Darth Vader breath. And it just kind of sounds like a little hot at the base of the throat. And then from here, we're gonna draw our palms together at heart center, finding the breath. Just want you to find your intention. So your intention is simply the reason why you would be practicing yoga. Okay, so now let's just bring the feet together now, as much as you can. We're gonna take a big breath in and just bend the knees, arms come up, bring the weight towards the heels, so make sure you can see those big toes. Beautiful, up through here, gorgeous shoulders. Exhale, straighten and fold all the way forward. As we exhale, we're gonna bend those knees again, plant those palms to the floor. Let's come back into our plank pose, our upper push-up. And then we're gonna slowly lower down to a low push-up. Keep those elbows nice and close to the side body. Now from here, keep those legs oh. lifting, tops of the feet <laughs> to the floor. Inhale, come on up to upward facing dog. Relax those shoulders back. Curl those toes under, press back, downward facing dog. From here, you're gonna send that right leg into the air as high as you can, and then sweep it forward towards the right thumb. You're exhaling, good. Inhale, drop your back heel to the floor, take the arms into the air. Shoulders are relaxed here. Exhale, palms come down towards the floor. Inhale, back into plank pose, our upper push-up pose. And then we're gonna ride that exhale all the way down to the floor. You can release to the floor this time. Cobra pose, good, relax those shoulders back, back, back. Nice, downward facing dog. Beautiful. <laughs> right, so if we're working at a computer or driving, you know, a lot during the day, this is a wonderful way to open up the heart. It feels good. Mm-hmm. Now hover that heart right over the thigh. Move forward? Oh, like, yeah. Move forward, baby. Uh, down? Nice and strong right through the belly. Right through the belly. Good. Now send those arms forward like you were Superman. Reach them forward. Now do you feel it through the belly? Because I know oh, I do. Yes. Life is all about balance, right? So. <laughs> as long as we're finding balance in our postures, safe alignment, strengthening, stretching, we're doing yoga and of course breathing, right? And then of course, if we fall out of our balance, if we fall out of our pose, the best thing to do is not feel hard on ourselves or be mean to ourselves, but be good to ourselves. If we're kind to ourselves in our yoga practice and on our mat, we'll be kind to others, better to others, so that we can serve our purpose in life. Be healthy and strong and balanced. Thanks. Thank you so much for taking some time with us and uh, stay tuned for more episodes on Create Your Health. Thank you. Absolutely. That was really fun. And by the way, I fell out of that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>